And we'll grow in number, fueled by the see the horizon. Hey guys, welcome back to Adulting Avenue with me. So if this is your first time, please click that subscribe button and join my Adulting Avenue family. So in today's video, as a graduate and as someone who is doing my internship, there are a few things that I hate seeing online. I hate seeing graduates being taken advantage of and I hate it when people try to offer these things to graduates these are things that i believe that people should just help if they want to and don't help if they don't want to like they shouldn't make graduates pay for these things so in this video i'll be sharing what i believe graduates should not be paying for um the first thing is a cv revamp um i've seen a lot of people they say they'll help you revamp your cv honestly if you're a graduate and you're unemployed and finances are you know not the best so I, I just advise you to look online look for videos where people help you to create the perfect CV or like just don't pay to get your CV revamped I also don't believe that people should pay for CV tips I don't think these are things you should be paying for this is the digital age all of these things are available online you can find most of this information online so i do i do implore you to just search for all of this information and use it ask your fellow graduates what do their cvs look like ask for templates from other graduates or people that you know who have been maybe successful in getting jobs another tip that i'd give you is that if you ever have an interview um ask the interviewer what do you think of my cv is there any advice that you can give me with regards to my cv i had i'll name drop i had a, an interview with pwc last year and i asked the lady over the phone i was like okay when she asked if i had any questions i asked the questions that i had and then i also asked about my cv i asked her as a recruiter and as someone who's you know part of hr at pwc what do you think of my cv what advice can you give me and she looked at my cv she had it with her and she you know she made comments and she said you know what no i think it's it has all the relevant information she likes the way it looks you know it's really modern it's really you know it has all the basic information and it's not too long so i was really impressed by that so i'm not going to fall into the trap of people trying to make me pay for them to have a look at my cv when they're not even recruiters where i'm going to be applying so i think it's a big scam especially if that person is not going to even hire you they're working somewhere else and they're going to look at your cv and then tell you oh no um fix this fix this also our cvs differ because we, we, we are in different fields. So always keep that in mind. So ask people around you, ask friends, ask fellow graduates. I know most graduates are in WhatsApp groups. So just start the conversation, ask for templates in the WhatsApp group of CVs and people will share these for free with you. All you need to have is data on your phone or watch videos on YouTube. There are a lot of people who are giving advice and all you need to do is watch their videos and maybe just like the video. Another thing that I feel is a big scam. This is the one scam that I hate and I always, always, always comment and I ask, okay, so what are we learning? And can I put this on my CV? So it's these one day courses where they'll charge you maybe a thousand rand for like five hours or less of like giving you information there was this one scam personally whenever i say scam it's just a personal opinion <laughs> it's not verified but there's this one instance and they're offering they're saying they're gonna give you tips for interviews and they're gonna tell you what to say in interviews so that you're selected and my question was okay so 
it's just tips and you're charging people a thousand rand a day and these are unemployed graduates my biggest problem with all of these things is that it's a business making money out of people who are unemployed and i hate hate to see it happen so please do not fall for these scams if you want to do a course make sure you do like a verified course don't just go for an online seminar one day that's hosted by mang mang who who maybe has a an mba those mba people <laughs> someone who has an mba and they're just gonna tell you just like just 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 information you can find on the internet so don't attend those things and spend a thousand rand for a few hours so that you can help that person pay off their the MBA debt in my opinion so I, I really I really hate seeing people make um, unemployed graduates a business because we do fall for these traps because we're really we just want to make it and we want to get like that first chance so please don't fall for these one day course scams if you're gonna attend a course maybe it's with the university I, I feel like that's better because you can actually put it on your CV. You're not going to say you attended a course that was hosted by Mr. Mam Mang. You know, like anyone can say they attended a course hosted by Mr. Mam Mang. So just, just make sure that you verify whatever you want to attend. Try to think whether you can afford it. I feel like if you can afford a thousand rand, then it's okay. Go for it. But in my opinion, that's just a scam. Like if people are going to give you tips about what to say in interviews, um, what interviewers want to hear, or what laws you must know, things like that. Like if people are going to give you tips like that and they're going to charge you a thousand rand and you are an unemployed graduate, it just means that they, they don't really care about you. Their, their aim is to make money. So I say avoid altogether and if you want to do online courses short courses look for verified institutions or even like online institutions are way better than you know mr mamang who's gonna come for one day with a projector and yeah i say mr because the person who offers that course that i'm that i have in my mind is a mister and i always have a problem because whenever i ask what are we actually getting from that course do people actually end up getting employed after you know attending such a course it doesn't guarantee any success so yeah also keep your eye like keep your eye out on um government internships um the government has been having a lot of internships lately so if there's any internship program that you've heard about just keep your eye out on that i'll be sharing more information about the program that i am a part of so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you can be able to see that video and get notified when it premieres and maybe you can also apply for that for that graduate program Okay, so this is just something I wrote down and I'll read to you to end off this video. I truly believe that if someone wants to help, it will be clear from their actions. If they are charging you money, it should make sense. Why are people insisting on preying on job seekers? I do not know. We want to know that we'll get jobs and we're open to advice and tips. But why do some people want to take advantage of that? My advice is if you want to do a course, make sure it's from a credible source and it's something that you can add to your CV. Um, I end off this video just saying if you, if you ever suspect that something is dodge, trust your instinct, don't go for it and just try to work with the internet, try to communicate with fellow graduates and other people in your situation and just try to get advice from them and ask them questions. I'm here as like an older sister <laughs> and I can answer some of your questions and I can offer advice and tips and share opportunities. I do this on my channel and I've been doing it more on TikTok lately. But that's besides the point. My point is just create a network of support for yourself. You're not alone and there are people who generally just want to help graduates without getting anything in return. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you 
if you understand the struggles of being an unemployed graduate i really hate seeing unemployed graduates being taken advantage of please subscribe to my channel if you want to bye <laughs>